In this video, we're going to look at programming in Scratch. Computer games, websites and software are written in complex programming language such as Java and C+, which has numbers, letters and symbols. Programming a popular game such as Mario Kart takes a lot of time to learn. Scratch helps us to program our own games by piecing together different coloured blocks, making it quicker to learn and easier to understand. The Scratch editor has sections that help us to write a program. We're going to look at the different sections one at a time. Let's start with the sprites. Sprites are the objects that we write the programs for. They could be characters that speak, tennis balls that move, or stars that are collected. The sprites can be added and edited using the section in the bottom right of the screen. When you start a new project, the sprite is a cat. Here you can adjust the size, direction, and position of the sprite. You can also right-click on it, or tap and hold on a tablet to duplicate, which means make a copy, and also delete it to add a different sprite. It is important to remember that if you delete a sprite, then it will also delete the code that you have attached to it. Use the blue circle in this section to add a new sprite from the library of sprites. You can also design your own using the built-in paint tools. Have the editor randomly select one for you, or upload a sprite from your computer, such as one that you have saved from the internet, or a photo you have taken. The code blocks are used to program the sprites, and the most important thing to remember is that before adding code blocks, Make sure you have selected the sprite that your code is being added to by making it blue. The code blocks are down the left hand side and are divided into different categories by colour. For example, the blue blocks are all about moving the sprite, while the purple blocks are used to program its appearance. You can learn how to use the different code blocks in the activity packs on iLearn2. Drag a code block into the middle section, which is called the script editor. For example, use the when green flag is pressed to start a project and then the sprite moves. You can also click to change the number of steps the sprite moves. The blocks fit like a jigsaw on top of each other, so their order is important for the sequence of your program. If you do not want a code block or a group of blocks, then drag them back to where they came from. This section in the top right is the preview pane, and this is where we can preview the program we are writing. I use the green flag to start my program, so here I can click on it to execute the program and see what it looks like. The icons in the top right also let us make the preview smaller, or we can go full screen. Sprites can have more than one costume. For example, we can click or tap the costume tab. Here the cat has two costumes, and you can also use the paint tools to edit each one. The costumes can be deleted or add another using the blue circle icon in the bottom left. The costumes can be programmed to change, helping make animations and effects. Backgrounds for the projects in Scratch are called stages. The blue icon in the bottom right is used to add a stage from the library. Draw one or upload your own image. Like costumes, stages can be programmed to change, such as moving through different scenes of a story or levels of a game. Now we have looked at how the Scratch editor works. You can use the range of activity packs on iLearn2 to learn to program your own projects, including games, quizzes and software. Have fun!